Well, hi everyone and welcome to our next uh, workshop, Watch and Do on Prophecy. We're going to unpack this funny word, uh, one of these gifts from uh, God. Okay, so you're going to need a pen. You're going to need a pen, paper, Bible, and uh, at any time, press pause, press play. Uh, we are not live, I'm alive. Um, and uh, let me say a little prayer. We've got 10 minutes. <gasps> 10 minutes. That's right. Got to set the timer. Quick. Oh. Okay. Let me say a little prayer. God, we thank you for your word and these gifts. Would you lead us by your spirit? And uh, yeah, we look forward to this in your name for the adventure. Amen. Amen. Okay. Have you got a Bible? Because let's start with uh, understanding what this gift is all about. 1 Corinthians 14. And we are going to look at verse 3. So 1 Corinthians 14, verse 3. Before we read that, I'd love us just to note chapter 13 is all about love. And so what's super duper important with any of the gifts is that the spirit um, of all these gifts, the Holy Spirit and also our small spirit, the spirit of this is love. We do this to love one another, say things in loving ways, love people, build them up. Um, that's the spirit of this. But 1 Corinthians uh, chapter uh, 14 verse chapter 14 verse 3 says but the one who prophesies speaks to people for their strengthening encouraging and comfort okay so what I'd love you to do pen paper is mind map with me I would love you to write in the middle prophecy and then strengthening comforting and encouragement mind mapping of that so i'd love you to do that first strengthening encouraging and comforting of that okay what is strengthening encouraging and comforting uh, i would love you just to off those three words what are some examples of things you can say to your friends and family members what are some things you can say that are strengthening so and I'd love you you write down I'll just talk uh, for a bit uh, about what could that look like to strengthen a friend so it might be to say hey Bruce I think that um, you can do this you can do it Bruce you know you kind of strengthen them in that way uh, what could it sound like to be encouraging encouraging is giving courage uh, so it'll be like, you know you can do this, you, you've done this before, or you've trusted in God before with this, come on, trust in God, and uh, I know you can do it, you're great. It, I know that sounds a bit similar, doesn't it? Comfort is a bit different, isn't it? Comforting is like, this is hard, this is tough, and God is with you. And it's acknowledging that, um, yeah, that well, it's acknowledging that it's hard. And so... Uh, that's strengthening, encouraging, and comforting. That's what we're talking about when we talk about prophecy. Some of us, not all of us, some of us might think prophecy and we think about Harry Potter or we think about Star Wars or we think, we just think it's kind of medieval or space age or, or we might also have a different thought about this. It might be like, um, we always thought prophecy was someone saying to you and to me, you know, Matt, in five years' time, you'll have a beard, and that will mean that you're very wise. And that can, <laughs> that can be uh, relevant, but that's not really what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is strengthening, encouraging, and comforting people uh, to build them up in Jesus. So, okay. What do we do next? With your pen and paper, what we're gonna do is write a birthday card. That's right, because for me, really what a, um, uh, just checking, for me, what uh, 
prophecy is, is like writing a birthday card. This is the analogy that I use. So a birthday card is a good one, by the way, not those lame ones where it's like, hi, Matt, good on you, mate, love, Bruce. Uh, that's a lame one. Uh, we're talking about a decent birthday card where you like sit and read it and feel so much better after it. That's what we're talking about here. So with a birthday card, it's always personalized. So we write a name. So for example, and I would love you to do this. I've written name, Jake. Uh, I'm gonna pick on Jake. Um, so think of someone in your life that you would love to encourage. All right, next thing. When you write a birthday card, you normally just start with saying something nice about them straight away, the thing that you kind of enjoy about them or like about them. And what, I want, what we want to say here in Soul Survivor is whenever you do prophecy, you never say I'm giving you a prophecy. You just do it. Um, so you don't go, I have a prophecy for you. You just say, mate, I want to encourage you or comfort you or build you up in this because we don't want to, there's no power play here. That's what I'm trying to get rid of. Um, so we, we start by just saying something lovely to the person because the feeling we want anyone to have when we prophesy is that they feel loved. If they don't feel, if they don't walk away feeling loved, that's not prophecy. So the spirit of this is love. So we say something general, nice anyway, just to get the party started. Dear Jake, you're a real servant-hearted person. That's what I've written down here. So you have a go. Write down a name of someone. Then just what's the first thing that comes to mind for you that is just a no-brainer? It's like, this is, this is why I find you great. Okay, so that's the next thing. The next part of prophecy is that we ask God for something, you might say, left of field, or we ask God for something to bring hope, something that... Um, just that's probably, we're just wondering how we can build them up. And in a birthday card, that's what we're trying to do. We say something nice, and then we kind of say something that builds hope or it builds, yeah, some future with just uh, saying things that uh, come to mind that we think might be a blessing. When we do this, what I often do, I say a prayer, God, what do you want to say to Jake? And what I do is if I close my eyes, I often either fall asleep or I, um, I go off into la la land, which is fine. Maybe you're better at closing your eyes and concentrating. I'm not. I've got to look around the room and like a birthday card, I kind of just, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. I don't know. I'm wondering. And what I could say to Jake that might uh, bless him. So I said, God, bring my attention to something and uh, right now, the I've got a bongo drums up there, and I wonder. Well, I wonder why that might be a blessing to Jake. And then, what do bongo drums do? They add percussion. They're a bit different uh, with you know just standard drums, but they really add. And so I might say, dear Jake, I find you're a really great person with serving, and I just want to try and encourage you that you really do add because that's what bongos do, uh, to people's lives. And I just, if you're one, wondering, do I add? You do. And um, that's, that's building up. That's, that is strengthening in the church. Now, how do you know if you're right or if you're wrong? Um, well, if you're loving, you'll never be wrong. Hang on a minute, what do you mean? What, what I mean is this, is that when we love, we love. And uh, when we share things that we're wondering, we're not sure whether the bongo drums, God brought that attention to me, but th the end result of that idea was not to talk about the bongo drums, but to talk about adding. And so that's a loving thing to say to someone, you really do add. And yeah, you might just wanna stop and think, does he add? Yes, he does. And you can, you can share that. But this isn't about whether you are right and whether you're wrong. This is about God giving you thoughts and ideas that are encouraging, strengthening and comforting to give away and to bless them. And over time as you do this, you'll, you'll see whether you're, you're listening and, um, and whether you're blessing others in that way. But it takes, <clears throat> with all the gifts, it takes time. Now I do wanna highlight 
In verse 1, Paul says, Follow the way of love and eagerly desire the gifts to give, especially prophecy. Why especially? Simply this. Everyone needs to be built up. Everyone, everyone needs to be built up. My time is saying 10 minutes. So guys, I'm coming into land to saying, why do we need this gift today? It's because young people, old people, everyone needs to be built up. So would you please build people up, pray and ask God for things uh, that build and strengthen and do this as a team and do this in love and do this with humility and uh, let's just get on the road and we'll work this out together. Okay.